Hi, my name is Adam Padanastro, and welcome to the BigQuery demo, where we'll use Gen AI and LLMs to process data at scale. We're going to use our fictitious company, Rideshare Plus, to help their business understand their employees and their customers. Rideshare Plus currently has many dashboards showing lots of data, but they wanted to gain some insights based upon what customers have been saying about their company. To gain an understanding of their driver and customers, we need to take a new approach to transforming our data and we're going to use LLMs to extract knowledge about our customers and drivers. We'll combine this knowledge along with our structured data to create an intuitive dashboard. This will be done directly within BigQuery Studio using Colab Notebooks so our data scientists can work alongside our data engineers. First, let's walk through a quick example. Here we have a customer review. The review mentioned items about the cleanliness of the vehicle, if the driver had the radio on or off, was the customer happy with or without having a conversation with the driver, and we can measure the overall sediment of the review. Traditional ETL processes struggle with this type of transformation, but now with large learning models, we can incorporate this qualitative data directly in our data analysis. Let's jump into the demo, starting with the dashboard that we created. Here's the website that contains our dashboard. So I'm gonna click on getting started, and we're gonna click on large learning model, and we'll first go to the employee or the driver's profile. At the top, we'll have a, the driver's name, we have their inception date, when they started driving with us, and their total value. The first block here is the attributes that have been extracted through the customer reviews from the driver's uh, perspective. So we asked the LLM, uh, find us these specific categories that we extracted previously with some AI to determine our categories. And we asked the LLM to look for those categories or themes within each customer review. We then took a majority vote. So it might say 100 uh, customer reviews say the car's too warm, maybe you know zero mentioned the temperature, and, and we have a few that mentioned it's too cold. So we're gonna go with the, the car is too warm. So we use that and then we ask the LLM to create a summary. The next is just some summarizing our sediment. So we take the sediment of each of our reviews. So the LLM was asked to do sediment analysis. And then what we did is we took the last so many reviews and we created a summary. So if you wanna read through all 1000 reviews here, it would take a long time. But what we did is we provided the reviews to our LLM and it summarized it up in a nice summary for us. So we can quickly see this. So this is great information. We know if drivers might need additional training or if their um, you know, customers like the driver or they don't like particular drivers. The next piece is our driver trip metrics. So these are uh, metrics just from our trips, average fare, average number of people. And we've, we've simply used you know, SQL to sum that data up. So very easy to do in traditional reporting. Whereas these, this is really the LLM is showing you how we can extract data from unstructured text. And the last piece here is we took this information and we did some analysis on it with some AI and we created a summary. So this says the driver likes to pick up at many locations. So we listed those locations and then we noticed they don't drive across state lines. So in this case, sometimes they live in a city that borders another state. So we can identify that and they only work on weekends and they prefer a split shift that targets rush hour. So we did all this with the LLM to create a different type of report that's easy to understand instead of going through each and every review. So here we see they, um, the, the driver, it's too warm, they like the radio on, and they're quiet. They don't like talking to passengers. So let's change to another driver here and take a look at some other differences. So let's switch to the second driver here. And for this driver, we'll um, get the analysis. So again, it's saying they're a safe driver. They enjoy having conversations with, with passenger and they keep the radio off. Um, we can also see down here that they typically don't drop off at the airport. They work on weekdays, but we notice that they are a split shift and they target a certain amount of money per day. So they are targeting about $30 a day or $26 a day here. And after that, they tend to stop driving. So we can um, create an English sentence that helps um, you know convey that information quickly without reading through a lot of uh, numbers. Uh, here we have a distracted driver that drives a little too quick. Um, we also see they 
passengers complain about a small trunk, so they must have other stuff in their trunk. So they probably need to tidy up their trunk and, and make sure they have room for passenger luggage. And we can see um, lots of negative reviews. So this is an opportunity to uh, talk with this driver and understand what's happening. And um, you know, here we uh, drivers works on weekend weekdays. They do a split shift. And again, we can say they pick up from some um, some various locations. Let's do one more, and then we'll jump move on to uh, the next piece of the dashboard. We'll pick our last driver here. And for here, we again quick summary of what the LLM have noticed throughout their reviews. Again, we have their uh, the the summary of their last reviews, so we can see what's happening. And then the interesting one was for this driver is that we noticed that they work late at night. So now that we have all this type of information, we can use it to start matching our drivers to our customers. And we'll jump over to the employee reviews and dig into that a little bit deeper. Here we can see our driver's name at the top. And we can see for each review that um, was left for this particular driver, we'll, we'll see the customer's name. And then we have our overall sediment of the review done by the LLM. And then we have our theme. So we have the extracted customer theme. So this is what the LLM uh, thought the customer preferences were as part of this review. And we have the extracted driver theme. So sometimes um, you know, a customer likes the temperature cold. This one, the car is too hot. And we can start to see patterns emerge. Let's just pick a different one here. Um, so we have another customer here that has a large luggage. They like a clean car. And the, the driver, apparently, their trunk space is limited. And then we have um, customer likes the temperature cold, no conversation. So for every review, the LLM was uh, asked to extract the sediment of the overall sediment for the review, extract the customer themes, and then the driver themes. And this information is what was used to build the uh, employee dashboard that we just looked at. So now let's look at the customer dashboard. And this is going to be very similar to an employee dashboard. And we'll go through each of the pieces. The first piece we have is the customer inception date along with their lifetime value. So they're displayed at the top. We also have the LLM generated summary of their preferences. So these are all the preferences we extracted from the customer's reviews. So customers, um, as they leave their reviews, will be getting smarter about their preferences and that gives them value for leaving uh, good reviews or detailed reviews about each driver. So in this case, the customer preference is for a cooler vehicle. They like a driver who drives fast, does not talk, and they prefer a clean car with their radio off. So we know this customer um, likes it quiet in the car, maybe they work, and they like a cooler interior. So um, we would pop this up to the driver before they picked up this customer, and they would know how to tailor the experience for that customer. We have our summary of our positive and negative reviews. So this is very similar to the driver, but this is all the customer reviews. So maybe if we want to run a marketing campaign, we can see their recent history and we could tailor an experience. So if they're having a lot of negative reviews, we could definitely make sure we send them a coupon or touch base with them to see how we can improve our experience. And um, also we have their metrics, how many miles passengers are driving. And then we have a, a brief summary here that they tend to be a, a weekday rush hour commuter and they use this to get to and from work. So we'll take a look at a couple more um, customers here. So let's take a look at customer number two here. We can see that um, when riding, they like the radio on and driving slowly, uh, prefers the temperature to be cool, make sure the car is clean, doesn't want to talk, travels with large luggage. So if they're going to the airport, um, you would expect them to have a lot of luggage during their pickup. So again, um, we have the summary and we have their recent history and we'll just try one more uh, person here. And for this one, um, we can see that, uh, again, cool, radio off. She likes to talk with the driver, so that's good to know. Um, she prefers to drive slowly, and she typically doesn't need a large vehicle. So we can glean insights from each of these. And again, we have the uh, summary of the reviews and the overall analysis. The other screen that we'll quickly just discuss is very similar to the uh, driver screen. So these are all the reviews uh, for this customer for each driver and we can see the themes and how they've been extracted. So jumping back to the uh, slide deck here, next we'll walk through the um, process by which we created this information.
Within our AI Lakehouse architecture, we have our source data, which consists of audio files. We also have parquet, some images. We have our raw zone, where our basic processing and recordings are going to be uh, transcribed from speech to text. We have our enriched zone, when we do a lot of our LLM analysis that uh, breaks apart and finds the preferences of each driver and customer. And then we have our curated zone. This is tailored so we can uh, bind this to dashboards. At the bottom, we have Dataplex doing governance and security. Everything's orchestrated with Composer, so it runs end to end, and we have security throughout our tiers. So within BigQuery, let's take a look at what we have. We have our three data sets here. We have our raw zone, our enriched zone, and curated zone. And then we have some notebooks. So the notebooks I have open is the demo notebook that goes through everything at a high level. And then we have notebooks one through seven that physically do the processing. So you can deploy this via GitHub um, and check everything out yourself. And I just ran every cell, the whole entire notebook. So we don't have to wait um, too long. We'll just uh, cruise through the notebook. And then if you want to execute it, you can download the source code and deploy it to uh, Google Cloud. The first piece here is um, step 01, so it's an overview, so that's just some descriptions. And then we'll jump into the code. So the very start of this process is we have tens of thousands of audio files. So in order to process this within BigQuery, we've created an object table. So an object table lets us uh, query Google Cloud Storage with SQL statements. So here you can see our raw URLs, and these are our uh, MP3 files. And then we have the actual storage and update updated. So this is how we process our files. As new files land, we detect it by looking at this table and seeing what has and hasn't been processed. And then we go ahead and process this data. And then for the demo, we have an individual trip ID. So we have an individual trip we'll look at, and then we're gonna download this. So to download this, uh, users do not have access to this storage account. So with BigQuery, we can create a just-in-time uh, shared access signature or signed URL, and then it will let us download this trip file or MP3 file, and then we'll go ahead and play it. So I'll play a sample here. I was really happy with the rideshare service I used last weekend. The driver was on time and friendly, and the car was clean and comfortable. I especially liked the trunk size, which was just right for my luggage. Overall, I had a great experience and would definitely use this service again. So that's a sample audio file. And what we need to do is transcribe this from uh, speech to text. So we have a function in uh, a cloud a function, and that's going to call our Vertex API. And then right through SQL, we can go ahead and uh, transcribe this. And then our transcription comes back as all lowercase, it might have some mistakes in it. For instance, I believe it says, you know, ride chair instead of ride share sometimes. So in order to correct that, we pass it to our LLM with a prompt. And the prompt is going to correct the capitalization, correct the punctuation, and also correct, um, you know, ride chair, ride share, common uh, phrases. So the result is right here. You can see the, the sentence that was generated and um, it looks like a proper formatted sentence. So that's the first step in the, in the uh, piece. So we do this for every single uh, audio file we receive. The second step is review sediment. So we let's take a look at the code here. So this is where we're going to use our LLM to ask um, for if it's a positive, negative uh, type of review. So we have a sample prompt here so for the given uh, review classified as positive, negative, or neutral. And here's the, uh, here's the information where my ride was amazing. So we should expect a result from that. And um, so this prompt is what we'll pass to the LLM. And then we'll go ahead and score that with our ML generate text. So what I did is I generate all the prompts. I store them in a table and then I process these at scale. So instead of running these one by one, you can create a column in BigQuery that holds your prompt that will pass to the LLM. And then we can um, take that prompt, that column, and pass it to our LLM. So right here is our LLM sediment prompt, and we store this prompt in our table so we can process this at scale. And then here is it actually uh, executing. So it's going to get the prediction result, and it's going to show us our prompt and our text, and we run it through our uh, generate text, which is text bison or palm uh, LLM under the covers, and we do this for an individual trip. 
So the important thing to note here is our temperature, our top P and top K, and our max output tokens. So we can see we have a result here. We have a result of positive. We have the prompt, which we just saw above, and then um, we have a response, and it says it's a positive review. So we can control how accurate our LLM uh, is by changing these parameters. So these parameters are really important. Our temperature controls our creativity. Our max output tokens, a token is about four characters, so it determines how much uh, output we get as our result. And then we have our top P and top K. Top P is like a probability threshold that we want to meet with uh, the minimum amount of tokens that are returned. And then the top K is how many tokens should we be returning at each step. So by changing these parameters, we're able to uh, create more uh, definitive results, like we just want the word positive, neutral, or negative, and then um, maybe for some other pieces, we want the LLM to be more creative. So let me minimize this so we can uh, follow along a little better. So step two and step three, and then we'll do step four. So now let's extract the themes from our customer reviews. So the first piece we're going to do is the driver themes. So what we want to do is take the customer reviews, which are processed above. So we now have the customer review text from the MP3 audio file. And we're going to want to ask the LLM to classify this. So we're going to create a prompt here saying classify this as one of the more categories and return it in the below JSON format. So these categories are predetermined right now. They can also be dynamic. So there's ways we can go ahead and enhance this to be more dynamic. The uh, JSON we want to be returned as is a list of strings and we give it a sample JSON response, and then we take the customer review text and concatenate this together. Our temperature is pretty low here because we want a definitive response, and you can see um, we, ask, we have our prompt here that classifies uh, this review, and then our output here is clean car and drivers likes music. So we can specify our output format, and we could store this in a JSON field. The next piece is for the customer theme, very similar to the driver's theme. Again, we're having our prompt and we're asking it to classify uh, the customer and the review and you know, extract this information from the customer standpoint. And then we're going to go ahead and get a JSON list back. Customer likes music, likes a clean car, and the customer likes no conversation. So now that we have our themes, we want to summarize them. So we'll have lots of themes per driver, lots of themes per customer. And we're going to summarize this into a, a little small paragraph so we can read it. And that's what we showed on our dashboard. The first piece here is just concatenating everything together. So here's all of our attributes for specific uh, customers. So there are uh, strings that have been concatenated together. And we're going to use this to build our prompt. So our prompt is going to say write a 20 to 500 word summary. I'm going to randomly sort the attributes. That's mainly just for the demo and select uh, three to five. Uh, we're going to write it in present tense. We're going to use the driver's name, use uh, varying length sentences, or two to five sentences. So we can instruct the LLM what type of output we want. And then if you look down here, we get a pretty short sentence here that we have been summarized that the car too cold, drives too slow, doesn't like to talk to passengers. And if you come up here, you can play with these parameters and you can get longer sentences or more creative sentences. And then the same thing is going to happen for the customer theme. We have our customer, we're going to aggregate um, all the information together for a customer. And then we're going to go ahead and say, write a summary for the customer. And we give it, you know, the presence tense, we give it the customer's name. And then here's some of the preferences this customer likes. And then it goes ahead and creates a, a sentence based upon that information. So the next step is summarizing all the reviews. So what we did just then is we summarize the extracted preferences. But now for the driver, we're going to say write a 100 to 600 word summary for the following customer reviews. I tell the LLM the driver's name. I say the uh, reviews are by different customers. And then we aggregate all this stuff together. So we get a really large prompt here. And our prompt looks like this. So this is all the reviews. And it says review, review, review here. And the LLM is going to summarize this. So when I execute this, I give it a little higher temperature just to make the response a little more um, entertaining to read. And then it gives you the summary. So it says the reviews are for a ride share and they're generally positive. And you can see the various um, attributes and summary it, it did by itself.
And then the same thing for the, the uh, customer, uh, very similar to the driver. We're going to concatenate all the customer reviews together, and we're going to ask our LLM to take this large paragraph and basically shrink it down to this so we can consume it on our dashboard. So now that we did that, we also want to do our uh, quantitative analysis. So we've parsed these reviews, but what we also want to do is combine in our factual knowledge. So I have a, a bunch of facts about uh, drivers. So I'm saying write a three to eight, eight sentence summary uh, for this driver and um, they have the various attributes. They have four pickup locations. They uh, locations are these places. Drivers not willing to drive across state lines. So I want to just simplify our analysis that we looked at using created via a SQL statement. We also use a little AI to determine if they drive on weekends or certain patterns. And then our LLM is going to take this prompt, and we change you know the temperature and the number of tokens here, and then we get this uh, summary. So driver picks up customers at these locations and they typically work weekdays during rush hour and they do not drive across state lines and don't target the airport. And we'll quickly go through the customer one, which is very similar. It's the same exact uh, thing we just did, but it's really from a customer uh, point of view. We know a little less about customers. We know when they day of the week they use it and we know that uh, morning and rush hours based upon some of their patterns. So we can tell by their timestamps uh, what time of day they're using it, and then we can create a quick sentence about the customer. And then this is just uh, pretty neat. Throughout the demo, we uh, LLMs are not perfect, so it's good to fix stuff using LLMs. We saw this in uh, our first step, step two, where we talked about um, correcting the uh, speech to text, but now we're gonna give it a sentence the driver's car was clean, has a large trunk for storage, extra periods. He would like driving very carefully. He like he's very, you know, the English is incorrect. Um, and then it switches from he to they. So we're going to ask our LLM to correct itself. And we say, just clean up this response. So if the LLM is giving you uh, responses that aren't perfect, you can tell it to correct the spelling, incomplete sentences, fixed punctuation marks and make sure it's using the consistent pronouns in this and we get the corrected output. So um, if you want to check all this out, go ahead and deploy it. And remember, the uh, all the working code is here from step one through seven. So I'm going to jump back to the slide deck here and just wrap things up. So here's what we saw. We saw our source data. We have our raw zone that has our object tables. We have functions. We have Python um, calling Flask in our, in our functions. Our enrich zone, we're using LLMs to extract this knowledge. We're using notebooks. Our curated zone, there's a big frames demo also on YouTube, so please check that out. It's really neat. What we do is we uh, run clustering on this data, uh, AI clustering algorithm, and then we use an LLM to explain our clusters. So we have materialized views in our curated zone, so it makes our utilization. Over here we have Looker, and then we use automated cloud build and cloud run, uh, deploying a Docker image, and we actually have uh, all that being deployed, and that's the website you saw. So this is our summary of our LLM. Please check out the predict demo. It's also in the same uh, area of this demo where uh, it's in the website where we predict the highest value pickup locations, and we can also see streaming. That's everything. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for watching, and have a good day.